Hi friends, it's Peggy from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here with my Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. How are you guys today? Happy Friday! It's And also, happy December! Welcome to December, right? I mean, it is here with a bang. It, it always seems to come really quickly after Thanksgiving. And it did come quickly this this time. So I'm checking my computer to make sure that um, we're working live. Okay, good. It looks like we are. Good. Um, so yes, happy December. Um, are you guys busy? Do you have a long list of things to do like I do? Oh my gosh, I've got so much stuff going on. It's I can I'm working hard to keep it straight and it's only the first of December. <laughs> I can't believe it. We have cards to send out. Renee, good to see you. Tina, chilly and rainy, Granite Falls, North Carolina. It sounds wonderfully wintry though. We have been, we've had, it's not been hot. It's been cool here. And we did have a little rain the other day, which was so nice. Everybody was so excited. It rained for like a couple hours and we were all just so excited. Ross, good to see you. Happy December. And Pam, good to see you. Marsha Long, good to see you. I put Ellie out right before we come on. I always do that, which is, you know, what you're supposed to do. Thank you, Marsha. And she came in, I went to put her bow on her head and she's got little bits of leaves all all in here. I think she was, she likes to roll in the leaves. I don't know why. It's just, it's frustrating when you try to keep her neat and she's leaving leaves all over and we continue to vacuum. I put her bow on like several times already and it's not sticking on. Lori Mantovi, good to see you. <clears throat> yes, happy weekend coming up. Are you guys busy this weekend? Um, what are you doing? Kay, good to see you. What are you guys doing this weekend? I am address I was supposed to address Christmas cards last weekend. I have them made, but I haven't addressed them yet. And so that's my job this weekend is to address some Christmas cards. What about the rest of you? Carol, good to see you from Connecticut. Thanks for popping on. <laughs> Your fur babies, Roz, love to roll in the grass and the leaves too. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> she's still a dog. That's all I can say. We try to um, make them all pretty and stuff, but they're still dogs and they love to go out and do that stuff. Well, <clears throat> I am busy next week at the beginning of the week. Oh, your brunch and two parades tomorrow. Linda, wow, how fun. That sounds very fun. <clears throat> I'm <coughs> coughing. Um, so I'm the beginning of next week, I'm giving a birthday party for a nine-year-old and she's inviting six of her friends and they want to make cards. I'm so excited. So I, I got a couple of the Stampin' Up! card kits. You guys know what those are. Um, they're usually only $20, $21, some, sometimes $19, and they have everything you need to make, you know, 10, 15 cards, something like that. And so I got a couple of those. I've got th those all ready for them. Uh, we're going to paint nails. My girlfriend and I are doing giving the, the party for the nine-year-olds. And um, the girl, the, the nine-year-old, her name is Hannah. So I made her um, like a necklace name tag. I just love it. That gigantic circle from the deckled circles came in really handy. And I, I don't know if she likes pink, but I thought, you know, most girls like pink, and I put some purple in there in case she likes purple. I don't know what her favorite color is, but um, yes, we're really looking forward to it. My, my girlfriend is bringing the cake and all the food and stuff, and I'm just super excited. Uh, just thinking about, I'm going to make them little goodie bags this weekend. That's one thing. And with only six of them, it's easy. You know, we can you can do stuff. 
Oh, Laura, you have to send out a sympathy. Your mom passed away? I'm so sorry, Lori. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry, Lori. That that's so hard. I really I really just feel for you. Siomara, hello. Um We'll pray for you, Lori. That's really, that's very sad. I'm so sorry. Um, just take it easy. Be gentle on yourself. It's it's a hard thing to go through. Um, we'll be praying for you, but maybe we can cheer you up today. I'm looking at the computer. I'm talking to you there because your, your words are there. So I hope we can cheer you up today. Um, okay, so um, I'm going to put Ellie down because we are going to have some fun. I told you on Wednesday we were going to make something really spectacular. And we are. Today we're making a showstopper card. But I have just a few little things of news to say. You know that the last chance uh, promotion is going on. Some of the items from the mini cat, the uh, holiday mini catalog are on sale, but most are retiring. Many are retiring. And so, um, Look, check out the list. I have links on my blog, and you can go on stampinup.com and find out. Use my link up above if you're on Facebook, down below if you're on YouTube. Oh, she's trying to get her bow out, of course. Your mom loved Christmas so much. Oh, yes. Oh, Lori, it's it's a hard time. It's It's a hard time. Just remember the good things. So, okay, back to our news. Um, don't forget, check this out. If there are things that you want, get them now because they are going, you know, as as the promotion goes on. And the last day, I believe, is, is January 3rd. Yes, January 3rd. So if there are things you like, make sure that you get them. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is... Um, you all know that the, we are going to have a new spring catalog starting in January for customers. And I can show it to you, but I can't open it. But we're going to use some stuff from it today. This is a fabulous catalog. I love it. And it's the beginning of celebration. The first two months of the year are celebration, which means for every $50 order, you get a free gift. And if you have a hundred dollar or more order, you get to choose like a level two gift. So it's very exciting. And for us, for demonstrators, some of you know who are demonstrators, um, our pre-order starts Tuesday the 5th. And so I am just really excited about that. We've been able to get some stuff, but we can get um, one of everything and two of some things. We can't get, you know, gobs of stuff, but we are all super excited for Tuesday. And when we order from this catalog, we get celebration items too. So we basically have three months of celebration. This month, because we can get it, and January and February. So I wanted to encourage any of you that are not demos, demonstrators, um, you, if you get the starter kit now, it's there's a link above and below. Um, if you would join my team, you could also have three months of getting free gifts. And I'm telling you, the free gifts in this little uh, celebration catalog are really terrific. There are a couple I'm in love with. And so just a little plug, there's really no big obligation. Um, you de definitely don't have to do what I do. Um, most of my most of my team are hobby demos and I love them we have a lot of fun together so if you would like to um, do that just contact me email me Peggy at prettypapercards.com okay are you ready for this showstopper fun fold card I'm trying to leave extra time Roz is a demonstrator she's making her list and checking it twice I've already made my list too it's pretty exciting okay the showstopper fun fold card. Here it is. I recently saw this, one of my downline, Donna, um, made this for someone else and I saw it. Now, it doesn't look like all that from the front, but check this out. Look at this. It's like a honeycomb. 
Isn't that something? Look at this. It goes all the way around. It's not even that hard to make. It just takes some paper and glue. Isn't that, isn't that crazy gorgeous? Okay, I'm going to turn you down and we're going to learn to make it today. Get out some paper if you really like it and want to take notes. Um, I may or may... I may or may not post all the measurements on my blog on Monday, um, but just take. Let me just encourage you to take notes. Okay, let's turn you down here. Okay, so here it is. It is called. Um, well, she called it a 3D star card. I am calling it a honeycomb card, and I, I got the. Well, I'm trying to say something here. Let me say it. Um, I got, I got it from my the idea and a link to the YouTube from my one of my friends. And she learned it from Karen at Crafty Karen Designs on YouTube. And I think she's from England because she said a couple of really funny things. One of them was, let's crack on. <laughs> I totally laughed. I, if Anthony comes on or watches this, I know he'll get it because I'm pretty, she didn't say she was from England. But I'm pretty sure she was. I don't know if Australians say that. But anyway, so we're going to crack on. Um, she said it wasn't her design. She got it from someone else. But anyway, we want to try to give credit where credit is due. So this is what I'm going to show you how to make. And at first I thought, oh my gosh, I can't make this. But it really is not that hard. Mimi Sanchez, good to see you from Wichita. I haven't seen you here before that I remember. So welcome. We are going to make a showstopper card today. But, so I made this um, for myself, but then I was thinking, why not use some brand new, new catalog product? So we're going to, and we'll do that in a bit. But we're going to make the basic, the base of the card, the, the honeycomb part. I'm going to show you how to make it. Siomara, thank you. Okay, so we're going to start out as usual with our eight and a half by five by eleven, eight and a half by eleven, and piece of cardstock. I'm using white just so we can add any color we want. Okay, but she, the the lady on the video, she used fresh Frisian. It was very beautiful. Okay, so the size we want is five and a half by seven. So I'm going to cut my five and a half first because I know that's the middle of my paper. And then we're going to cut at seven. So I have to bring my arm of my paper trimmer out and cut at seven. Okay. Now, here's what I mean when I say this is a, a like it takes a lot of cardstock. It's a paper hungry card. And I mean that when I say it because you need six of these. So it really takes three pieces of cardstock. But, hi Polly Libby, good to see you. Now we're going to get our scoring blade and we're ready to score. You're going to put your piece, which is five and a half by seven, in the portrait position, the tall position. So this card, if you call it a card, is actually more like a five by seven. Here's my sample. It's tall. I tr Oh, actually, this one is not. This one, I, I cut it down. To less than five and a half to try to fit in one of our envelopes and I couldn't do it. So we're making the five by seven size today. Okay, so we've got our paper in the portrait position and we're going to do some scoring. We're going to score first at one and a quarter and we're going to score at two and a half. So if you're writing it down, one and a quarter, two and a half, three and three quarters, and five. Let me get that. It's not going up above that little bump there. Okay, five. Right there. Okay. And now we've got the base of one of the items. And I'm going to call these tubes. Okay, we're going to call these tubes. There are six tubes. So we're making one tube right now. So now we're going to burnish our score lines. And we're not going to do all six. I've got them pre-made for speed so that we can get this all done while we're together. And so we burnish on all the score lines. And this is what creates one of the six tubes. So here's 
another one. Okay. Now, what we want to do, this is going to adhere to this. It takes quite a bit of glue or adhesive. But first, we're going to do that little, um, trim those little corners, miter them so that this, uh, so it lays evenly or nicely. So we just cut off a little corner just on this little one half wide um, spot. All the others are, I believe, one and a quarter inches. So then what we do is you glue, um, really you're going to glue the tube together, okay, like that. But the way I like to do it is lay it down and fold it and then you, I'm going to put glue on here and we just lay the other part on top. The one thing is you don't want to get glue all over the place because there is a lot of gluing and it could become a big mess. So just one strip of glue right in the center. And here is a tube. Let me be sure it's adhered. Okay. There we have one tube. Okay. Now, here is another one that I cut so that you can see how to put the two together. And I, all I did is score it, just cut and score, just like we did. Cut the corners. And then we're going to go ahead and fold. Cindy, good to see you. Um, yes, put prize. Today's prize is going to be this card, and you might really want it. So definitely put, put prize today. Okay, I want to try to make sure to really burnish those lines because that's what helps the card um, look nice is when everything is burnished correctly. Okay, and we'll burnish that little fold. Okay, and then we're going to glue this one together also just like we did the other one. Just a line right down the middle and press that down so it adheres and we're just going to give it a minute to set. Colleen Ludicky, good to see you. Glad to have you. Happy Friday. Happy December. Okay, so now we've got two tubes, right? And if you look inside, let me see if you can look inside. Can you see where we did the gluing right back in here? So that is considered the back side. So we want the back side to always be to the back because we're going to now start to make the honeycomb. So I have more that I've already pre-made so we could go a little faster. But I want to show you how to start how to start it. So you've got the back there in that corner and I'm going to glue it to a back. And so what we're going to do actually is glue these two pieces together right there. It's a little bit scary. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go ahead and use my bone folder again, so that lays down really nice, hopefully. And so this is the back right here where we, where we glued that piece together, and now I'm going to run a little, whoops, whoops, a little glue like that. That might get a little weird. Okay, then we're going to put the back, I'm finding the back, which is right there, let's see. So the back is here, and I'm going to just lay this down right over it. It's amazing. You think this can't come out right, but it really does. And then you want to stand it up, press it together nice and tight, just to make sure. I got a little glue right there. But I'm going to glue the next piece right over that. Okay, so don't tell anybody. So now we have two pieces adhered. Isn't that kind of interesting? Okay, let's adhere the next one. Here's the next one and here's the back. So we want to have the back on the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and... I, I really was surprised when I got into seeing how it was made. It really is easy. This, it, this is really it. The rest of it is decoration. So you lay the piece on it and make sure, that's why you really want to use glue, so that you can make sure you've got it all lined up. And now we're going to have three pieces adhered. So let's check that out. See how it's making that honeycomb? And because the fold is at the back, the place where we glued the initial tubes, 
you don't ever really see that and I, I really like that idea okay now I actually glued two together to speed things up earlier so let's see if we can get that to work so we'll go ahead and put more glue here I've made several and I've gone through one one tube of glue okay now let's confirm that our back is here yep so you just lay this down right on it like that and then right away stand it up and make sure that everything is lined up just right because I'm just pressing there so we're just pressing that down and it's just kind of a pile of paper but when you open it up look at that so we've got one two three four five of our tubes glued together and we just have one last one and here's our back so we'll lay it down this one for some reason is not folding quite right I must have glued that incorrectly but you know what it's very forgiving so that's okay I'm just going to fix that with my bone folder so it lays down nice and flat so here is our back and just confirming that we're going to adhere it right here so again we put the glue just like this do you you you're seeing that it's easy right it's not a complicated project but it has a huge wow factor and if and that is mind-blowing Ross it is kind of mind-blowing okay so now we're just gonna let this set up for just a minute because we want to make sure it's adhered before we adhere everything together so there we go and we should have all six of our tubes one two three four five six okay so now all we do is glue these two together just like that do you see that now you just fold it together and we're just going to put the glue just on this section this part is free so it's free it's free so that it um, it pokes out okay so let's go ahead and do that we'll put our glue right like this not too close to the edges because you don't want it to squirt out And then we're just going to fold that like that and we'll just press it together from the inside I'm just holding that together we'll let it go for just a few minutes so basically you have six tubes all glued together here let me see if I can it does flatten down you know you can see how you can flatten it like that all different ways Okay, let's check. And here is our, let's just, okay. You just have to fold the little parts out, the pieces parts. And there's our honeycomb. Isn't that kind of fun? See that? Check that out. Isn't that neat? I think it's so cool. So now all we do is decorate. And that's easy so I want to decorate with um, I can't help myself but use new things really I love this new be mine designer series paper and we've looked at it before and you guys have seen it but um, it really is just amazingly cute and I wanted to use it on here because I'm gonna use this piece red it's gonna be red and yellow look at these cute little bees isn't that just so cute so what we do and I pre-cut so that um, it doesn't take forever so I'm going to use a piece of daffodil delight right behind a piece of the be mine uh, paper now you can see on my sample over here I used um, cherry cobbler behind a piece of joyful I think it might be the joyful paper I'm not sure I can't remember so it's like two two pieces one makes a frame for the a cardstock makes the frame for the DSP 
so the Daffodil Delight piece is one by six and three quarters, and the Designer Series paper piece is three quarters by six and a half. Now you need 12 of these of each, but it's not that big of a deal. Like this would only be one half of a 12 by 12 sheet, right? A little more than a half. So, and you can get the yellow, the Daffodil Delight out of um, one sheet of cardstock. So it's the the biggest um, hog of, of cardstock is really the honeycomb itself. It's not, it's not the, de the decorating. So I'm just going to glue this right on here. Just see if we can get that a little even there. There's kind of a little cutting line there I'm going to press down with my bone folder. Sometimes when you cut um, on one side, the back side kind of sticks up a little bit. So now all we're going to do is go through and adhere this, one of these, to 12, uh, to all the 12 sides because we have six tubes and two sides of each are showing. So we'll do one here. I'll just show you how it's done. And again, adhesive, adhesive, adhesive. And then we just put it right on like that. And you do have to, you know, be careful and kind of let it dry. Thank you, Lori. I think it's super cute. And then to save time, I've gone ahead and done almost all of another one. So I've got almost all of it glued. Isn't that so pretty? I've just got two spots that are not glued, and I've got, I thought, oops, I thought I had two of these. What? Well, maybe I better, oh, here it is. Yes, I thought I did. Good. So I already pre-made two of these so we can finish off this one because it's a long, it takes, not forever, but it just takes time to glue 12. So we're going to put um, this one right in here just like that. Now that you see it, it doesn't look that complicated, does it? I think even a beginning stamper could do it if they were, you know, if they followed the directions. I really do. I just don't think it's that hard. And then here is our last one. Okay. Now the, the little thing after this is how do you actually get anything to stick onto it because you have all these points, right? And I'm going to show you that. So I'm going to let that dry a few minutes. Press it in, kind of like that, so it doesn't move. Give it a good press. And there we go. There's our honeycomb, all decorated. Isn't that just so pretty? I think I actually like this one better than I like the other one. I really, really like it. I just think it's super cute. But how do you get anything to stick on it? Well, you could, and I'm sure people will come up, and I may even come up with some other different things. One idea I thought of, but I'm not going to do, is to just put a ribbon right around it and tie a bow. Um, but where do you put your greeting or anything? So the way um, Karen on her video showed us to do it is, um, and I have this little piece. This is called, she called it the topper piece. And it's three inches by one inch. And you have to score it. Let me get my paper trimmer out. So it's three by one. And you might want to you could use a couple of these if you wanted to decorate it more. And so you score at um, one half, start at one half. It's a little tiny. And then one. And then two. And then two and a half. And that's that. And then what this does, I'll show you. Let's let's um, burnish our folds here. That's kind of important in this case, and I'll show you why. 
basically it's a one inch area there and that's how we're going to adhere things to the front of the honeycomb is on the one inch area you could definitely do one on the front and the back so what you do here is you've got this and it this is your flat let me get it where you can see it that's your flat area and so what we're going to do is we're going to pick one uh, point and where do we want to put something flat now i'm going to tell you in advance we're going to do a circle and we're going to put a b on it and all kinds of fun stuff so what we're going to do is we're going to let me get it so you can see here we're going to glue the one half there then it folds down and then it you glue the other half let me be sure i get it right here yeah you glue the other half like that and then you have this little flat area okay so the first thing to do is glue I'd, I'd like to be in the center. Let me try to be in the center. And in fact, actually, well, I'm going to use glue because you can move it. So I'm going to put a substantial amount of glue. Hopefully it won't poke out. It won't eat, eke out. And I'm just going to line that right up to the edge there on this one point. Okay. And we'll just give that a minute to set up because that's it, that this is important to get this to really adhere okay then that folds down and then that becomes your one inch piece so then the trick is to get this one adhered and what we do is again just put it flat against it can you see that here is the fold of the one inch see that and we just put that tiny bit right there and it will do its thing. We just put that little one, one half inch there. So let me put some glue on the back of this. I was going to use some um, tear and tape, but then it's not movable and I like my things to be kind of movable. So we just put it right on the other side. So both of those little one half inch pieces are adhered uh, let me see if you can see it. They're both adhered, one on one side, one on the other side. Can you see that? Like that, so it makes kind of a little triangle. And I'm just going to hold it for a minute and let it really attach. I'll press it again in a minute. Meanwhile, we're going to make what's going to go on top of it. And I thought we'd make this circle have this circle and this is some of the beautiful bee mine paper and then um, put a put a little bee on it now what I've done I've used the stylish shape dies I know that's so cute too isn't it but I think this is better for what we're gonna do I use the stylish shape dies and I did a piece of white because the DSP isn't all that um, sturdy not like a piece of cardstock so I'm just going to, I just want to have a little more strength to this piece. So I'm just going to just glue those two together just perfectly. I got some little black dots on it. I was, um, <laughs> I was re-inking my Memento ink and it splattered. I don't know how it splattered, but whatever. Anyway, we're going to cover up those little black dots. Okay, so here we are back at our our little um, topper piece and the sides are adhered and now we have this nice flat area so all we have to do is glue the circle right onto that flat area and then we're that's what we're going to decorate with so I'm just going to put the glue on there and put this right on it isn't that amazing I think it's so interesting very interesting and so all of this you have to leave it for a minute now I went ahead and made a bee for us because I wanted to have a bee and I wanted to have love you and I wanted to have a little bow this is the ribbon that comes with the um, with the set so uh, with the suite actually the bee mine suite so let's be sure our little topper is really adhered there 
Okay, and I've got some dimensionals. And we're going to adhere our B, I think, over those little black dots. And we've looked at how the B is made with the punch. We'll see that another day. We're going to be using this B a lot because she is so cute. I think my bees are going to be girls. Okay, so there's the bee, and we're going to put, let's see, I just wanted to put a little bit of um, ribbon on because it's so cute. So, so let's put our little sentiment. And this heart right here is from the punch, you guys. This is the bee's body. This is the, the wings, but it also makes a heart. And this little mini heart is what you punch out the antennas with. Isn't that cute? Okay, so there's the little love you. And then we're gonna adhere our bow with some mini glue dots. And we'll be almost finished. So let me know what you think. Is this something you would give a try? Would you make this card yourself? Now that you've seen how it is, let me know. And of course you can replay, it's on, gonna be on YouTube, so you can always replay uh, the YouTube to, to get the measurements again and everything. But I'd be anxious to know if you think you'd... Margaret, how are you doing? How are your doggies? Let us know. I was thinking about you. Margaret from Australia. Okay, and here are all the cute little um, embellishments. They're called adhesive back hearts and flowers. So cute. I think I'm going to use some red hearts on here. Let me just see if I can get that off of there. Oops, there we go. Okay, there's a little heart. Let me see. We'll just put a little heart right in front of the bee, just like that. Isn't that just cute? And so here is our, I'm calling it a honeycomb card. And you can see, let me, let me see if I can get it so the camera can get a shot. There, can you see this is how the circle is adhered on that little topper piece? Let me turn it this way. You can get a little peek down under there. And it's pretty secure. I mean, if a dog tore it up, it would come apart. Margaret, I'm okay, thanks. And Paddington and Tegan are both lying with me. Oh, good. Take it easy, Margaret. We'll continue to pray for you. Anyway, this is such, look at how cute this card is. And it does fold down. Now, I brought a five by seven envelope. No, nope, that's not the envelope. Where is my envelope? Hold on. No. Nope. Oh, here it is. Oh, on the opposite side. Okay, this is a 5 by 7 envelope. Let's see. It's, it's a little tight, but look, it probably will fit just barely. I don't know if I would actually want to do that, but you could get it into a 5 by 7 envelope. Personally, I, I think I would do what my friend did and she just handed it um, to the other person she gave it to. And of course we were all ooing and eyeing over this. It is so darling. Um, so again, if you, well, you can, if you wanna watch her video, it's Karen, Crafty Karen Designs on YouTube. And so I just really, um, did what she taught. But again, here, this one is five by seven. I shortened it down to, I think this one is um, more like a five by five and a half card because I was hoping it would fit in our envelope, one of our Stampin' Up! envelopes. But it's the same issue. You know, it's so beautiful and kind of fun that it really doesn't. But there you go, the two honeycomb cards. So, this is the prize for this week. This is going to be your prize. Um, put prize and you'll be entered to win this fun card. And I am really excited. I wish I could make one for all of you, but 
<laughs> that would be a lot. Okay, here we go. Let me turn us up. Okay. So thank you for stopping by today on this first Friday in December. Um, we have a prize to give away from, actually it was two weeks ago because I was tired after Thanksgiving last Friday and I didn't come on. I was kind of pooped out um, and I stayed home and snuggled with Ellie and did some cleaning, you know, clean up stuff. So the prize from two weeks ago is, let me get my, I always have to have my glasses. The Iridescent Adhesive Back Discs, a full package. And the winner of these discs from the 17th, no, yes, it was the 17th. I have my December calendar in front of me. November 17th is um, one of the YouTube, my YouTube gals, Charlene Kanelski. And Charlene, congratulations. I will get this in the mail to you. These are fun. I love these. Um, so Charlene, I thank you all for watching and hanging out with me on my lives. I love it and that's why I give you prizes because I so appreciate it. And uh, put the word prize if you want to have a chance to um, want to be entered in my random drawing to uh, win this adorable card, this super cute honeycomb be mine card. And I'm going to make another one as soon as I'm done with you guys. I'm going to finish up that other one because they're so cute. Okay, have a wonderful weekend. I will see you next Wednesday, the 6th. And don't forget, if you would like to um, get a starter kit and start getting those celebration items and get new catalog items right away, you definitely can. Um, I have a link up above or below, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, or you can email me at Peggy at prettypapercards.com. You'll love it. There's a lot of fun stuff. Okay, have a wonderful weekend.